We're in a Cisco ASA 5500 series, and I'm going to show you how to reset the password. So first thing you do is connect the hyperterminal cable and hit the escape key during boot up, and you'll be in the ROMMON prompt. From here, we'll type CONFREG, and you'll want to take a look and see what information it shows here. In this case, it's 0x000, etc., etc., et all the way back to number 2. So 2 is the one we want to remember here. So, do you wish to change this configuration? The answer is yes. Enable boot to ROM on, yes, we want to do that. Select specific flash image index, yes. I'm going to choose number two. Disable system configuration. Now, Cisco says to uh, choose no to this, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and choose yes, because if we've uh, forgotten more than just our password, maybe we forgot the username, and the password for the local database. We're going to go ahead and choose yes. If you don't have that problem, then don't then choose no. And we're going to go ahead and choose yes to all these other prompts. And then when this is done, we'll go ahead and choose boot. Okay, we're ready to go ahead and type boot. And now it's going to reboot. This usually takes about two to three minutes. I'll go ahead and fast. All right, so the configuration ended up uh, completing its reboot. And now when we type EN for enable, it prompts us for a password. Where there is no password. We hit enter and we get our command prompt. So this is especially useful if you use your hyperterminal cable and it prompts you for a username and you don't know the username or you don't know the password or both uh, by disabling uh, the configuration, then that takes that completely out of the mix, so you don't have to worry about it anymore uh, after the reboot is done. Now, if you were having a problem where just the password uh, was an issue and not the username and password in the local database, then you would not have chosen to disable the configuration and it would have just reset uh, the password for you alone. So in this case, I had to do both and, and now when we do a show run, you can see all of my configuration is gone. So you definitely don't want to do that if you uh, don't want to erase your configuration. Uh, but in this case, I had to because I did not know the username and the password of the local database.